Augustine. And Arsenal being really pushed back here by the visiting side. As United get another throw, which Koppel will take. Augustine. Good turn by Whiteside. And a fair shot, just pushed away by Jennings. But Whiteside has shown himself skillful and aggressive in these opening minutes and is a little unlucky not to get a corner, as I think we should see here. Turned well. And definitely a corner. McQueen, very positive. Arsenal a little lucky on that ricochet falling for Manchester United. Robson holding him up for a moment. Moses playing the ball in for Whiteside. 1-0. And Norman Whiteside puts Manchester United into the lead with something like 18 minutes gone. Good cross by Remy Moses. And caught first time there, left-footed, wide of Jennings, right into the corner by Norman Whiteside. Well, a great blow for Manchester United. It's what an away side in a cup tie like this over two legs dreams about. Stapleton glancing it on for Whiteside. A flick on this time for Robson. And pushed away brilliantly by Jennings. A supreme piece of midfield play there by Brian Robson, suddenly bursting from nowhere into a goal-scoring possibility. A nice little flick on there, Robson coming in well, and Jennings pushing it away. A yeah, reason for optimism there on the Manchester United bench with the United substitutes, Ray Wilkins in the back row. Could be dangerous. Talbot playing it and Robson has collected and he's got Whiteside outside him. And Stapleton <laughs> against his old club. And a goal that in the first instance was of Arsenal's own making when Talbot's pass went nicely into the path. There it is. That was the moment when Arsenal was suddenly in trouble. Corbett's pass picked up here by Robson. Whiteside outside him. And the ball crossed in by the young Irishman. And Frank Stapleton there to score against his old club and put uh, Manchester United two goals to nil into the lead. Atkinson, the United manager, down on the bench now on the right hand side of the picture there. Moses, Stapleton. Foul that time by Nicholas on Moses. And Kevin Moran with the free kick for Manchester United. Well, there's a chance now again for Manchester United and again. It was Stapleton who got the shot in, and somehow it was Robson and Jennings who, between them, contrived to get it behind for the corner. So Koppel will take the corner. And a dire need for a steadying of the Arsenal ship at the moment. Two down, and in danger of going further down. As Koppel floats the corner in. McQueen trying to turn it back, and Robson almost getting in a chance for a shot, and Moses too, and in the end it goes wide, but the whistle had gone, and there will be a free kick for Arsenal. Well, here's how it all happened. Cobbles corner. McQueen tried to turn it. Robson thought he was going to get it in there. For a moment it looked as though Moses might get it in as well. And in the end... It was a pretty fierce challenge there by Kenny Sanson. Woodcock. Finding Mead. McQueen's with him. Is it for Davis? Woodcock. Nicholas. 
Good driving shot there, just wide of the United post. Well, there have been a few shots on target for Arsenal tonight. That was a very good effort by Peter Nicholas, as you can see, just falling a yard or so wide. Robson. Muren. Stapleton on the charge again. And he's got Whiteside in the middle. He's got Koppel in the middle as well. He's found Koppel. And Koppel has found the net. 3-0 to Manchester United. And Arsenal are in disarray now. It was a good battling performance here by Frank Stapleton. And he looked up and he had two opportunities. And look at that. An inch-perfect pass to Koppel. And Koppel did the rest. Oh, Muren said thank you very much and here's Whiteside and here's Koppel in a lot of space can it be number four there's the answer 4-0 for Manchester United and they've killed off Arsenal now and just look at the space now as Whiteside plays it here, perfectly again for Koppel, and some real clinical finishing there. Driven past Pat Jennings, deep into the corner. And Koppel wheels away, knowing that they have now for sure booked a place at Wembley. What a remarkable performance now by Manchester United. Well, everything's going their way, and Duxbury might well finish it off. No, it's saved by Jennings. What a great run by young Mike Duxbury. Started it off in the first place way inside his own half. And then suddenly it was picked up again for him here. And he was through and it needed a good save by Jennings. Not an easy one there down at his feet for the corner. It always looked the more comfortable side at uh, Manchester United in every respect this evening. But that was a good ball to Woodcock. And he has scored. So there's a consolation for Arsenal with seven minutes left. Tony Woodcock, a good long ball by Paul Davis. What a good ball it was. And Woodcock collects it well. McQueen couldn't quite make the contacts. And there it is, finishing behind Gary Bailey. And it's 4-1. Mead, who looked fractionally offside when that ball was played. Alberston again, good work on the ground. Torbert. Alberston looking hard now for a second goal, which, who knows, might at least give them a glimmer of hope for the second leg. And Rick's coming in! And the goal is there by Peter Nicholas. Cross comes in, Ricks couldn't get the touch, they only half clear it, and Peter Nicholas dives in to make it 4-2.